Readers, our objective today is I can write about a big idea from my book and support it with details from the text. A big idea is a claim about the real world. And you might be wondering, what do you mean? It will be best if I show you an example. So I'm going to give you an example from a familiar text. For most of you who were here at the beginning of the year, we read a story called The Tiger Rising. So a big idea from the text, The Tiger Rising, is that you have to let your feelings out, not trap them in. That right there is a big idea, okay? That was evident with Rob being quiet all of the time. He never shared his feelings with anyone after his mom died. At the end of the book, he finally let his feelings out and his relationship with his dad started to get better. So, big ideas. When readers think or write about big ideas from a book, they support their ideas with small moments, small details, and small objects that are found in the text. And when you find those things, you're going to be thinking to yourself, what is significant or important about this part of the story? Taking a look at the end of Pink and Say. This is the moment as they are getting caught. And just before they're really being caught, something happens between Pink and Say. Take these. Pink said as he took his spectacles from his pocket. If they catch me with them, there'll be trouble for sure. That got me thinking, hey, wait, those spectacles, which are those glasses that he wears when he reads, those were talked about in another part of the text. And I think that these are like clues that the author is leaving us. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to look. But this small detail shows us that Pink gave his spectacles to say before they were caught. And in my mind, I'm thinking, why is that significant? What is so important about that? Here's the moment we learn towards, back towards the beginning of the book that Pink can read. In this part, it says, Master A. Lee had a library full of books right here, he said. He taught me to read, even though it was against the law. He must have been a good man, I said. More bad than good, say. Sometimes I think he just liked being read to. There was this book of poetry, say, that was this thick. Every night I'd read out loud to him from that book. A small detail. Pink can read. His master taught him. Even though it was against the law, y'all, slaves were not allowed to read. They were not. To be born a slave is a heap of trouble, say. But after Aileen taught me to read, even though he owned my person, I knew that nobody ever could really own me. That is a very big part right there. Even though it's a small detail, once he knew how to read, he knew he couldn't be owned. They're not just talking about him physically. They're talking more about his mind here. You, no one can own your mind or what you think about. And then here's another part. This is the part where we learn that he needs spectacles to read. Master Ailey showed him how paper talks. Show him, Pink, she said. He took out a pair of spectacles from his pocket and opened the Bible to the Psalms of David and started to read. Spectacles are those glasses. Pink needed glasses in order to read. So that's another small detail. And it's also a small little item. There's another little part here, a little clue where say then says I surely do wish I could read I announced to them without thinking when pink saw I was ashamed he took my hand so say here doesn't know how to read and say is not a slave pink is a slave 
slave and he it's against the law for him to read, but he knows how to read. So what is the big idea? A small object I noticed that could lead to a big idea are the spectacles. I think the spectacles represent power because pink uses them to read and reading gives you power. Power to think. Masters did not want slaves to have the power to think for themselves. When pink hands say the spectacles, it's like he is giving up his power because he understands as a slave, he should not have any. So finding big ideas is going to be something you're going to try today. We are going to find a specific page in the text, pink and say, for you to look out and pull a big idea from it. So you're going to start by opening the text pink and say from your Google Drive. Find the page where Momo Bay is holding say in her lap, just like in the picture. Reread the text on that page. Think about this small moment that say and Momo Bay have and what big idea you can get from it. Use these questions to help you form a big idea. These questions are, how does Momo Bay feel about Say? How do you think Say feels at the end of this moment? What is a big idea you get from this moment? Readers, I hope you find yourself coming up with some great big ideas on this page, and I can't wait to read all about them.